Welcome back to my channel. This is episode three of my second home build. And in this video, we're completing the framing. So let's get into the video. So day 16 and 17, I was out of town, so you won't see me in any of these clips physically. But day 16, I had the lumber delivered. And then on day 17, my framing crew got to work and they were able to complete about 35% of the entire frame. Day 18 and 19 fell on a Saturday and a Sunday, so my crew took the weekend off. So let's pick it back up with day 20 of the build. We're still framing. This is the second day of the the framework. They knocked all this out the first day. We had 10 people here and today's day two and we have two people here. So, so far they've finished all of the bottom floor walls. This is all the bottom floor walls and they've also put up the next part of the build which would be the joist. So if you come this way, these, this would be the next part of the build after the walls and these are called uh, the joist. And basically what you do is when you frame the house, you start from the bottom up you do the first floor walls, and the next part of the build is the joist. And these joists are called an engineered wood product. They are floor trusses. They're called web trusses, because if you look up, you see how it's open. A lot of people will install two by 12s right there, but these trusses are where the electrical wires and the plumbing and the uh, HVAC ducts have to run. If you have trusses, it makes it a lot easier because you can run all your stuff through there since it's open. So they did the first floor walls and they've done the trusses and now they're working on the second floor walls. So now we have two people here, probably won't be too much going on today, but he said he did say we will finish the framing by Wednesday, which will be four days total of framing. So hopefully he, uh, he stays true to that. So we can finish the building 60 days. Uh, one question, right here, it's no, uh, it's not flush. I'm going to put, you want, you want flush? maybe, is, how, how, how uh, to repair it? Go inside? Yeah, we can cut it. You can cut it? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, cut it and make it flush. Oh, right here. You did that? When you when you put the nail, yeah. you want to fix it? Uh, I don't know. I'm Nicholas. <laughs> no, I'm okay, no, it's no problem. So it's day 21 of the build. Right now, we're on the uh, third day of the framing. It's Tuesday, and I was hoping to have all the framing done today. But yesterday, half of the framers or all the framers decided not to work. There was only two guys there, so we really didn't get anything done other than the stairs going from the bottom floor to the top floor. So kind of a non-productive day yesterday. And those are what I'll have to avoid to be able to build a house in 60 days. All right, so it's five o'clock. We're coming towards the end of the day. These guys probably won't work too much longer today. We did get some accomplished today. So we got the, the second floor walls done. And then we also got the second floor interior walls. So all of the second floor walls are done. Tomorrow they're gonna come back out and we're gonna knock out the attic framing and the rafters and the framing will all be done. So one more full day of framing. Uh, also at some point today, we got the siding material delivered. I purchased all this from my roofing supply store. Um, this is the OSB four, eight, four foot by eight foot OSB. And that will go on the walls, on the exterior walls for sheathing. And then also on the roof for the roof deck. And then also we have the soffit right here, but we have the soffit and the siding. So this looks like all of the lap siding, six and a quarter lap siding. On the last house, I think I did eight inch lap siding. So it was an extra two inches, whereas this one is only six and a quarter. So it's gonna be less wide panel. On the last house, I did a, I believe a 12 or a 16 inch overhang. So the overhang is where at the top where the roof overhangs off of the house. But on this house, I'm gonna be doing a 24 inch overhang. So this pen, this is gonna be the soffit, 24 inches. It's a wider overhang. I'm gonna do it and see how, how it looks. I think it's gonna look 
pretty sleek. Tomorrow, we're gonna finish the framing and then also the siding crew is gonna start. So we're gonna have two crews here working at the same time. So, so far, there's one, two things that I've caught where we're kind of making a change. Right here is the front door. You walk in, there's the stairs, and I'm gonna do a metal handrail going up the stairs. So one thing I'm gonna request for them to do is cut this wall down right here. So instead of walking in the front door and having it enclosed, we're gonna cut it off, open it up. So that way you'll be able to look up the stairs and into the, the second story. So they're gonna cut it, make it flush, and it'll be more open, make it feel more open. So that's one problem so far that's happened with the framing. Next is you come through right here. This is supposed to be a bathroom. Well, it is a bathroom, except they did not frame a door in. So maybe if, if I wouldn't have caught this, there's a chance that they wouldn't have caught it either. And there would be no door going into the bathroom. So I would have, of course, that would have caused problems in the future. But I did catch it. There's going to be a door right here to walk into the bathroom. So they'll get that taken care of. It's a good one. So we're at Home Depot. We, uh, I think the material cost was something like twenty some thousand dollars, and I only came up like two hundred and fifty dollars short. It's the last day of the framing. The contractor texted me and said they need thirty more two by six by twelves. <sighs> I don't know how we're gonna fit it on my truck. Consider my bed's only five foot. They're gonna stick out seven foot. Yeah, this will be interesting. What the hell is that? Three times eight, two hundred. Yeah, like three hundred bucks short. That ain't bad. All right, thirty of these. <laughs> Out the boat. Let's see how this looks. Maybe it'll stay. Oh, we're good. It's only there. Dos ahí. Uh, mucho. Oh my God. All right. So we needed that material for right here in the front. The, those are two by sixes. We're doing a little overhang right here in the front. And we need those two by sixes for the last couple rafters. Then we'll be finished up. So that was a success. Beber, So it's day 22, we're coming to an end. It's like 7 p.m. and the frame is now complete. Uh, another day the framers just have to come back and do some cleaning and stuff, but here it is. So now let's go, uh, let's go take a look. We have uh, quite a bit of mess going on over there. We still got some two by sixes. Yeah, two by sixes. We got some more two by sixes here it looks like. Right here we got some two by six, two by fours. Anyways, this, all this extra stuff, there's quite a bit of good extra stuff that will be used for tomorrow's uh, cornice, the uh, the fascia, the fascia framing. The site is definitely a wreck, but the framers finished up. They got to come back and clean another day. So anyways, let's go check out the frame. This is the front entry. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of an overhang right here, probably like a four foot overhang. Me and the head framer were arguing, not arguing necessarily, but we're talking about this post. It came with in the uh, material that we were supposed on the plans I, uh, I'm not sure if it was on the plans but either way I ordered the post the framer wanted to install this post right here and I don't want a post right here it's kind of like a country 
ranch style looking feature on a house and i want this to be modern so with that said i don't want that post there we didn't install instead they framed this area uh to withstand putting a post so it can all be open coming into the front porch area this will be the front door so coming through once you walk in the house to the left will be the living room and then the kitchen area one thing i definitely would not have done if this was my house is this right here is going to be like it's a, basically acting as a post it's supporting this big ass beam right here and this beam and that has to hold the second floor up well if it was my house i would have paid to get an expensive ass beam put in here long that way it doesn't have to be stopped right here we would be able to do without this post but since it's a rental property i just decided hey i'm going to go ahead and do this kind of framing to avoid that expensive beam because that in itself would probably be about a about a three thousand dollar beam if i had to guess it might have been another two or three grand to do that it's a pretty open concept you walk in the left right here this will be the living room area the couch will be this way tv that way then right here will be the island here's an electrical plug so we'll have electrical for the island it'll be about seven feet right here this is going to be the pantry and then cabinets on that wall cabinets on that wall that's going to be a window right there so living room kitchen coming this way on the bottom floor will be dining area right here and coming this way is the framers still have a little bit of work but they're going to put a door here this will be the downstairs powder bathroom this is going to be the exterior door on the back side of the house and right here will be the utility room so this will be the laundry room with washer dryer you know maybe a shelf pretty pretty good size laundry room for a rental property so um, now let's go take a look upstairs where all the bedrooms and bathrooms are. Oh, one thing is, well, let me go this way. This is the door, of course, to the garage. Pretty big garage, actually. 448 square foot. It looks massive right now. So anyways, it's a good garage. One thing that I'm doing here is under the stairs, there's going to be a little closet. For investment purposes, I've made the framer frame this accordingly. So basically, you open the door, and then there's this big area right here. And then it wraps around, if you can see, we're not gonna change anything right here. It's all gonna be open for uh, storage. And what that'll do, most people would probably put a wall right here and they would cancel that about 10 square foot, they would just wall it in. And instead of me walling it in, it's all gonna be open and considered living space. Whenever the appraiser appraises the house, they will calculate that square footage under the stairs as living square footage. And that 10 square foot probably 10 12 15 square foot adds a value to the house of probably about two hundred dollars a square foot yeah two to three or four thousand two to three thousand dollars just for leaving that open so anyways going up the stairs here once you come up the stairs we got these windows right here this will all be feel pretty open i'm going to do a metal handrail a handrail will start right here and go on that way it's a pretty open feeling i don't necessarily know what you want to call this area but there's an open area here. You can call it a, maybe, I don't know, a foyer. Maybe the right word anyways. You can put a desk here or something cool. Look out the window. Or it can just be open or whatever you want to do. Let's go check out the guest rooms first. Here's going to be a linen a linen closet. There'll be a door with some shelves for, uh, you know, blankets, stuff like that. Storage closet. There's two guest, we'll say two guest rooms in the master bedroom. Here's a guest room. You know, decent sized guest room, not too small. In the last house I built, it was relatively small in comparison. So here is guest room number one. This window, I'll have to check on the plans, but this window seems a little off center, but maybe it's how it's supposed to be. Anyways, window there. Here's the closet, good sized closet for a, uh, you know, small rental house. So closet there. Coming in here, right across, right through that wall is the other guest room. And how I elected to do it is Jack and Jill bathroom style. So coming into this door, there's going to be a vanity with a sink here. Then right here, don't step on those nails. There's going to be a toilet right there, a little sliding door here. Then coming right here, there's going to be a bathtub right there. Bathtub, shower combo. We're missing a two by four right here, but there'll be a window right there. Then coming through, this will be a vanity with a sink wash your hands for the other bedroom and then coming through here will be the other guest room so it goes guest room sink 
bathtub, toilet, sink, other guest room. So it's all kind of connected for the guest room. And then here's the closet for the uh, other guest room. So let's go take a look now at the master part of the house. So going down the hallway here, it's gonna kind of look crazy because there's all this bracing, but I'll go take, I'll go stand here. This is going to be the master bedroom. It's a, actually standing in here is a massive for a, a relatively small house. It's a massive uh, master bedroom. It's got a big window on the left. I assume the bed will go right here. TV right there. Nine foot ceilings. Uh, feels like a pretty pretty good sized master bedroom for a, a small rental house. Then coming through here through the maze. This is coming through this little little doorway. It's going to be a pocket door. It'll slide in and out. Is going to be the master bathroom and master closet. Um, it's kind of designed to be like connected, open, try to make it feel big. It's really not that big, but anyways. So where you are standing right now is going to be shower tub combo for the master bathroom. And right here will be the vanity, wash your hands. Right here will be the toilet where you can use the restroom, handle business. This is gonna be a wall. Then right around the wall is going to be the master closet. So right here is the master closet. So this is the master closet. It's relatively big master closet. This house is only 1,768 square foot, and I feel like kind of maximize the efficiency. You know, it's a very efficient laid out house. Open floor plan downstairs. Upstairs is the two guest rooms with the Jack and Jill bath on one side, and then on this whole side is the master bedroom, master bathroom, and master closet. So that is a tour of the finished frame. So for the cost on the framing trade of this home build, the material cost $20,967. The labor cost $5,695. And that brings us to the grand total for the framing of $26,662. So we're coming to the end of day number 22 of my home build and the framing is all 99% complete. Tomorrow will be day 23, and the siding contractor will show up, and he's gonna install the siding, the windows, and the doors. All that will take up day 23 and day 24, so the next two days, and then we're on to the roof, and then we're on to the mechanicals, and so on, so on, so We're still on track to complete the build in 60 days. Um, I think I allocated about 10 to 12 days for delays, and so far I think we've already used four, considering one day we failed a plumbing inspection that took up a day or two and then during the framing phase we had the framing contractor show up on Monday with just two people. The build's going good. That's it. Next part's the siding so stay tuned for that video. Make sure to subscribe below so you don't miss out on the future videos and thanks for watching.